and takeaways and any other cool words starting with T so you can advance your business online the kingdom way. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. What? 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 What's going on everybody? What's happening? This is your boy Christopher the Marketing Superman Harold. How you doing my friend on this awesome, awesome and wonderful day? I'm very excited to be before you today. You know why? Because today is a big day. We got some cool, awesome stuff I'm going to talk about today. It's going to be groundbreaking. It's going to be different. It might even challenge your very philosophy. And that's a good thing. I love doing that because that's the only way we grow, right? And so I'm excited to be before you today, guys. Uh, Episode 47 of the Kingdom Marketing Secrets Podcast. And man, what your pastor never told you about provision. Ooh. We we might ruffle some feathers today, but it's all good. But before we get started, my friend, listen, depending on when you listen to this, you might only have one or two days left to register for the July Money and Marketing Masterclass. Oh, my goodness. Have you seen and heard the testimonials about this to experience people that have had inside this Money and Marketing Masterclass? What God has been doing this master class blew my mind. I had no idea. It just it just exceeded my expectations. And what I'm telling you is this. You need to go and register ASAP. We have a brand new July master class that kicks off on July 2nd. Don't miss this, my friend. Go to moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. It will transform your life and business guaranteed. Too many, too many, too many, too many testimonials from this. You'll be doing yourself a huge disservice if you do not attend this. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart. Go and register right now, moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. If you are serious, serious, serious about having a profitable kingdom business that attracts new clients online in a fast and predictable way, you have to go and register right now. Do not delay. Do not procrastinate. Go and register right now at moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. If you love yourself, if you truly want to grow in what God is calling you to do, go register. All right, just do it. Do it. It will change your life. I don't care where you are. And I got people who have a multiple, multiple, multiple six-figure business. And they're in the masterclass. We got people who just touching six figures. We got people who are in middle five figures. We got people who are brand new. Go to the Money and Marketing Masterclass. Your life and business will change. Moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. That is the website, moneyandmarketingmasterclass.com. And we are kicking this off July 2nd. Do not miss this. All right, go. All right, so that's my commercial for the day. So let's go ahead and talk about this topic. This is a hot topic. Hot topic. It was a hot pockets, right? Hot topic. <laughs> but hey, oh man, I had to, I, I pray before every episode I do, and I just pray before this one as well, because if you're not growing in your walk with God, if you're not coming to a new understanding and having some new revelation of things, then you're not growing, then you're dying, then you're regressing. And I take it upon myself to continually grow with my walk with the Father. And as you do, 
at times you will come across philosophies, traditions, things you have been taught from well-meaning people, well-meaning people. Listen, I'm a licensed minister, so I'm not going to put down another man or a pastor of a church. Well-meaning people, but maybe they were not as knowledgeable in certain areas as you would hope. And as you grow, as you know, you get new light. You know, that's one thing about growth. Growth gives you light, right? And here's the deal. I call this podcast the Kingdom Marketing Secrets Podcast. And as you know, if you've been here before, hopefully you've been a, a long time listener by that. We're at episode 47. That's pretty awesome. We kicked this thing off in September of 2019. Right. And hopefully you're subscribing to this podcast. You've been sharing it. Now, do and do me a favor, leave a review as well. All right. But as you know, I share a lot of cutting edge marketing strategies to help you grow your business. Also, I, I touch on a lot of kingdom stuff as well. So what I'm offering is different. It's rare. Just like our master class is different. It's rare. Right. To see kingdom with business in, in, in a profound way, because here's the deal. Uh, Am I the only Christian who ever talk about business? Of course not. But I can tell you this. There's not one other person or group or entity that that has the kingdom and the business and what we offer, for example, inside the master class. Because I have guest presenters that come on as well. And there's not nothing else out there in the space today from the secular business world or from the quote unquote Christian business world that combines what we have. That's why I know once you experience it, your life will change because there's nothing else out there like that. It's just not. And since this is called Kingdom Marketing Secrets, I like to share things that maybe were hidden, that maybe God has revealed to me. And here's the thing about the last book of the Bible is called Revelation. And what does that truly mean? It means an unveiling of something, right? See, even when you define the word secret, see, Jesus talked about secrets. In Luke 8, 17, right? He said, you know, those things done in secret will come to light. So what does that word mean? Secret. Secret means what is hidden. Jesus was probably, no, he is the most profound teacher we ever, ever had who taught in secrets. He taught in parables, right? And to those who didn't have the ears to hear and the eyes to see things were veiled to them even the disciples asked him why do you speak to them in a certain kind of way but you tell us these things he said why what did jesus say what did, what did he tell the disciples because they're not ready for it. the things that the father has only been revealed to you and so Something is a secret. When something is unveiled, when something is revealed, it doesn't mean that it never existed. Because uh, my man Solomon said himself, there's nothing new under the sun. It's just that when the veil comes off your eyes, like happened to the apostle Paul, you see things differently. It's not that it didn't never were there. It's just you never saw it. I have clients and students now, the stuff I'm teaching them about business, about sales, about marketing, about kingdom, about all kinds of stuff. They never saw it before. Right. They never saw it before. Now they're able to see it and like, wow, because they've been trained and conditioned by being around me to see things they never saw before. So that word secret means by implication, it means something treasured. But it's something that is hidden or kept secret. And so what I want to talk about today is about provision. Because you and I, you and I have been conditioned and, and, and taught that the way we get provision from God is by giving a tithe. Now, this is not going to break down <laughs> tithing. Because I believe that is an Old Testament law. That can be a principle for new covenant believers to use, but not to be taught to a new covenant believer as a law. Understand that if you you read the scriptures thoroughly, you will see new covenant believers are not required 
to give a tithe because if you want to tithe in the true sense of the word tithe, as the Old Testament um, people did in Israel, they actually gave about 23 to 28 percent of what they had, not 10 percent. So if we're going to technically try to keep an Old Testament law, keep the Old Testament law. I can show you in Leviticus where it's, it, 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 it says all that. It proves that. So they didn't give just 10 percent. OK, but. We've been taught that we've been conditioned that if you want to be, quote unquote, blessed, you got to tie up. I was at a church and check this. I was a licensed minister at a church. And the pastor came on the microphone and he, and he said that basically, if you're not tithing, you can't even be in leadership. Now, no, I don't see where that lines up with scripture. But the point I'm telling you is that, see, you know, our pastors. And like I can say I'm not condemning pastors. But some pastors have taught things that are not true in scripture for different motives and different reasons. And that's not the way to access provision. See, once you kind of really get a kingdom revelation, you start growing and understand what, what is kingdom? Well, I'm a kingdom citizen. I'm not a servant. I'm not a slave. I am a kingdom citizen. My father is the king. The Lord Jesus is the king of kings and Lord of lords. I was called to be a king. I was called. I was created to have dominion. You understand what I'm saying? That's a totally different paradigm shift that takes place. I talk about this stuff a lot. What I'm giving you right now is actually a little bit of a sneak preview and preview of some stuff I talk about in the money and marketing masterclass, plus a whole lot more. Right. But we have to understand we can't have a mindset of giving to get, to get provision. So we've been taught to pray for provision. Yes, we have. We've been taught to pray for, for provision. We've been taught that if you, if you need a financial blessing, raise your hand and the pastor gonna pray for you. But where is that in scripture? Why would you need to pray for something that the father said he's already gonna give you? See, the formula's been given to us in Matthew 6, 33. But, but, we ignore it or we forget it or we just don't stress it enough. But the formula has been already given to us on how to begin to seek provision. Number one, do you ever have to, uh, if you have kids, I have three kids, Brianna, Josiah, and Caleb, right? My kids would never have to go and beg and plead and ask me over and over again to give them provision. I did a video maybe about 18 months ago, 12, 18 months ago. And I had them beg me for provision. Daddy, please feed us. Daddy, please give us clothes. Daddy, play, Daddy please take care of us. Daddy, you know, I got these stuff and over and over again. And then I asked the folks on the video, I said, how, how would that make you feel? How does that make you feel if your kids came to you that way? You probably feel like a horrible parent. Well, guess what? How do you think God feels when we're doing that too? When he said he gave us the formula. See, we've been taught tradition and religion too much. And it could be a form of control. Let's keep it 100. But the father's given us the formula. You want to know the formula? Do you really want to know the formula? Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I imagine I'm having a conversation with you right now. And I imagine you shaking your head. Yes, Chris. Give me the formula. Tell me the formula. Here's the formula. 